How to start investing. In this video, we're going to explain the basics of stocks, how they work, and how to start investing in them. Let's begin by talking about why shares exist in the first place. Growing a business takes money. Companies can raise funds for this purpose in a number of ways. They can slowly reinvest profits, they can borrow money, or they can secure private investment. Another very common way in which companies can raise money is to publicly offer their shares. This means that investors from the general public can take a stake of ownership in the company, and each of these stakes of ownership is called a share in the company. There may be a great many shares that exist for any given company. For example, there are several million shares of Microsoft. All the shares in the company, taken as a whole, represent the value of that company. When a company first puts up its shares for sale to the general public, it is called an Initial Public Offering, or IPO for short, and we'll discuss IPOs more in a future video. Offering its shares to the public is good for a company, as it allows them to quickly and easily raise funds without incurring the burden of ongoing interest costs, as they would if they were to borrow the money. It can also be good for the investors, as they now have a stake in the fortunes of the company. If a company does well, its value is likely to increase, and each piece of the company, each share, will be worth more. Shares are often also referred to as stocks, and shares can be bought and sold on a marketplace called a stock exchange. When we talk about investing in shares generally, this is often referred to as investing in the stock market. The reason that investors may choose to put their money into the stock market, as opposed to, say, simply putting the money into a savings account, is that they seek a superior return on their investment. A savings account offers a modest return that is essentially considered risk-free. There is no uncertainty about the return you will receive on your investment. In contrast, the returns from buying a share are not certain, but historically, for the long-term investor, the stock market has delivered a much stronger return on investment than savings. For example, the US stock market has given, on average, an annualised return of more than 10% over the past 60 years. Steady returns, patiently accrued over a significant period of time, year over year, can add up to amounts that you may find surprising. For example, that 10% annual return may not sound particularly vast, but let's consider a projection investing a modest, affordable amount over a long stretch of time based on just such a rate of return. Let's say that you start investing for your retirement, and to that end, you decide to invest just £5 a day. That's your coffee for the day, or a nice burger of choice. Let's say that you are able to achieve that same average rate of return of 10%. If you start doing that at 20 years old, you'll have retired a millionaire with £2.3 million by the time you're 70. No wonder that compound interest has sometimes been described as the eighth wonder of the world. There are many companies to choose from, of course. One of the compelling aspects of the stock market is that you are rewarded for making good decisions. If you choose well and your companies thrive, the better your investment will perform. But how do you go about gaining the knowledge you need? One of the aims of this series of videos is to steadily build up your knowledge, piece by piece, in small, easy to understand chunks, in order to help you become a more effective investor. Before you start investing, it's a good idea to thoroughly research any company that you're thinking about putting your money into. Look into how the company makes its money, who are the key people in the organisation, what are their plans for the future. One way to start is by gravitating to what you already know. We all have our own personal interests and experiences, and these might offer you a head start. For example, if you have ever worked in a certain industry or sector, you will likely be well positioned to understand what drives success for those types of businesses. Or maybe you are interested in fashion, or movies, or technology. Why not start by looking at companies in the particular area that already interests you? With your Trading212 account, 
you can invest in more than 2,000 real stocks and ETFs absolutely free of charge right away. Or practice risk-free with up to £50,000 of virtual money. If you're just starting out, it helps to have the freedom of trying different things until you feel more confident. Download the Trading 212 mobile app from the Apple App Store or the Google Play Store, or simply log in to our web app by heading over to www.trading212.com. That's all for today. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you're among the first to know when we upload a new video. See you again next week when we'll explore how to go about buying a share in a company.